hello we'll see import process in GST for that first we need to create a uh, purchase order ME21N here you need to select the document type for import now we will select the vendor which is from which we are going to procure the material purchasing organization group and company code okay here we need to give the validity for which our purchase order will be valid the material which, what we are going to procure from our import vendor your plant and storage location okay that's it now this is the rate which is 1500 USD this is fetched from your info record now we need to go for conditions here you can change the rate per unit for that material now while we are importing the material we need to pay the basic custom duties to our custom vendor okay for that we have a condition known as JCDB which is input basic custom duty and uh, we have taken it as 10 percent we'll see here we need to uh, give the vendor custom vendor okay to which we are going to pay the basic custom duties and igst now we'll check okay now before that we need to also see the invoice tab okay here we will select the tax code as ib which is import GST IGST we'll select over here C input import IGST 12% okay for domestic IGST we have some different tax codes and for import we have another different tax codes okay here you can see the taxes JIMD is your condition type okay and 12% is your IGST now here you will check and there are no errors so we will save the PO and our PO number is we'll copy this PO for further transactions okay now first we need to release the purchase order with ME29L here we need to give the purchasing order here you can release it now we just need to save it okay now we'll go for customs payment now your like your material is on the port and now the custom authority will release it when you will pay your custom duties for that we need to pay these duties now the currency will be INR okay here you need to give your you purchase order number and as it is a plan delivery cost we'll select it as plan delivery cost here we'll change the tax code to IB means I B even here we will make it as IB now this is the amount which we need to pay in INR which is your custom payment now just we need to select it over here your quantity for this you will get your bill of entry from your custom customs uh, you need to pay the taxes according to your bill of entry okay now this new one field is added added in your G after GST which is accessible value here you need to select the accessible value the calculations I will show you here see the accessible value in INR as per, per exchange rate 68.37 this is the accessible value this is the basic custom duty the IGST will be calculated on the sum of your accessible value and your basic custom duty which is this okay your IGST 12% is calculated on this value which is 135 3726 and now you will pay 
the IGST and basic custom duty to your customs vendor. Okay, so I have taken here the accessible value as I have showed you on the sheet. Now you can just hit the calculate tax button. Yeah, before that, you also need to give the business place. Okay, this is your taxes and this is the sum of your IGST and your basic custom duty I will hit the simulate here you can see the total payment is paid to your custom vendor which is custom duty and your IGST okay you can post now your document is posted now you have as you have paid the custom duties the custom will uh, clear your material from the port and you will receive the material to your premises while receiving this material we need to do the MIGO transaction MIGO through this the material will be loaded to our system here we need to select the document date which is 0509-2007 okay this is your custom Miro number and they will ask you for the physical year which is 2017 this is your data here you have the quantity for which you are uh, you are going to invert in your plant okay this is your purchase order this is your material details okay you just need to hit the ok button for here if you are receiving only 50 quantity you can change it to 50 the 50 will be open quantity which you can receive at any time okay press enter you have to hit the item ok check you will get the green indicator over here now your document is okay you can post it when you have posted the document now we need to pay to our vendor means from which we have received the material like this is the US vendor from which we have received this material so we have to pay him okay now this is your purchase order now while this you have to select here goods and service items okay enter here the system will automatically fetch the quantity and the amount for which you have done the GR okay now you have to make the tax code as zero because we are not going to pay any taxes to our foreign vendor so we'll make it as zero enter calculate tax and here you need to give the value now you can simulate and see that 1,000 1,50,000 USDs are paid to your import vendor okay you can post the document and here it is saved okay thank you